absolutely shocked beyond words. <laughs> I came out to this giant quartz and it was just to pay a friendly visit to the quartz. And I decided it's early. I'll just film the sunrise too. And it turns out that this sunrise, um, we're at the fall equinox here, one week before the fall equinox. The sun actually rises right through this window of the quartz over a notch in the horizon there. But as I'm sitting here enjoying this morning, I just, I'm, I'm kind of marveling at this sunrise, looking around me, feeling sort of amazed at everything in general. And I look down and there's a piece of pottery. <laughs> There's a piece of pottery just sitting there on the ground. I've been here a bunch of times. I've never... Okay, um, full disclosure, there are some petroglyphs right nearby. As a matter of fact, I'm going to run down there right now, but I've never seen pottery too. This is amazing. Can you believe this? What a morning. That quartz is up there with the sunrise rising on it. Isn't that amazing? God, that's beautiful. And obviously this quartz was much taller in time past, probably something more like a tower. And right below the quartz are a bunch of huge water pockets. Big, deep water pockets, heavy, heavy flows of water were coming through here at one time. In fact, so much so that some earlier settler built a dam there to make an artificial lake for cattle. But right at the base of this waterfall, over this pool, are these cupule petroglyphs. It's, I don't know, it's, it's my experience that these petroglyphs, this kind of cupule petroglyphs, maybe most petroglyphs are east facing, but um, for some reason these cupules, they do, when there when are a lot of them like this, kind of like a beehive sort of style, they tend to be east facing. I want to see if how the sunrise affects these. The sun's coming up there. It only took about five minutes for that entire panel to be illuminated from top to bottom. And like the quartz is up there and from the waterfall, the sun rises right over that little notch right there directly onto this panel. And I was, as I was watching the sun play over this array of dots over this water pocket at the waterfall, it made me wonder if this is actually one large petroglyph representing rain. Because the way the light plays over it, it looks like rain falling into this puddle of water. I'd be curious to see what how the sun plays on this <clears throat> at sunrise, sunrise at different times of the year. This is the equinox and the sun's there at the winter, um, the winter solstice, the sun would be further that way, like more like behind that rock. Let's see, summer would be more up there. Yeah, I don't know. How, I don't know if this, I mean, I don't know if this it gets illuminated at every sunrise at every time of the year. But I, out here in the desert, I assume every time of the year <laughs> we want water so <clears throat> maybe that yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and believe that today rain I love pack rats they have such interesting collections check this one out got a bone Got a big, big bone in there, big old dried up bone right there. And what's here? Look at this. 
pottery. That's the best. Just pulled out another piece. This looks like maybe, I don't know what, like the curved lip on the top of a pot or maybe this is what it looks like. I don't know, maybe the, the bottom. No, this looks like it must be belong to the top somehow. It's nice. Oh, look at this. Ugh, my arch nemesis. This is what they do, except they usually do it at my ankles. Look, he's right there. He's like stuck into my wrist. Jumping Choya. Oh, bastards. Ugh, get off. I hope you like this little video. I didn't really realize I was going to be making a video today, but <laughs> it kind of turned out sort of interesting. Um, if you want to see more like this, go to theancientsouthwest.com, the Facebook group, Ancient Southwest. Please like, share, and subscribe. And also, I brought my little arts and crafts out here with me. I've been busily and happily making skulls for Dia de los Muertos. I make Rachel bead art. This one is an incomplete, but I'm working on it. I got my little beads. I got my little all, and it's fun to do this out. <laughs> while camping it's just I don't know it's kind of cool so sorry the wind I know we're on nature that's the way it is um all of my art is for sale at my Etsy shop etsy.com slash shop slash I have got art or just go to the ancient southwest.com and link to it from there have a wonderful day